Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about, do you know your body? Now, we all hopefully have our own little regiments and diets. If you don't, please figure that out because it's actually very important to your performance on the court. Now, when I was growing up, you know, I didn't think of any of this stuff. I mean, if the buffet was sitting there, I'm gonna eat a lot of it because it's there. What happens on the court if I load up on those eggs and bacon and toast? I'm probably not gonna be playing very well. But again, this goes to the question of, you know your body and that fuels you. I mean, eating all that fat heavy stuff, if it's fuel for you, then definitely do it. But it's kind of a, you know, trial and error thing. Um, every time I loaded up, I didn't play well. It's kind of like eating a pound of pasta and going to try to run a marathon. Um, it didn't do well for me or my body. But some people, you know, they carbo load and that's their fuel to finish the marathon. What I figured out over time was the less food I had in my system, the better I was. The night before, I would eat a regular dinner and then maybe have a snack. Um, and then in the morning, I would just drink liquids. I played early, it was fine. I mean, I drank my tea or coffee. Uh, when I was younger, I would probably just drink juice or just a lot of water. Um, I mean, I pretty much lived on this stuff as a teenager uh, into my young adulthood um, until this stuff came into play. And then I love this. This probably tells you how old I am because this was probably one of the first energy drinks that came out. I figured out that if I ate anything during tennis day, match day, in the morning, I would probably not perform very well. Um, I probably didn't suck, but it's not to my peak performance. The longer or the more I figured out things, the more I've, I, I knew uh, that the less I had in my system, um, the better I played. I perform better with an empty stomach. Match mornings, match days, tennis days, I don't eat until after I play because I, it, it just hold me down, it would slow me down. The fuel that I needed was only like water, Gatorade, and Red Bull. I, I still do it to this day. I mean, it's literally 30 some years later. Um, it took me a while to figure out my system, but I know that I can't eat if I'm gonna play. It, it just does not work for me. Uh, you may want to talk to a nutritionist if this is important to you or, you know, do trial and error. I mean, I know people who have to eat before they play. I mean, they have to have a bagel. They have to have a sandwich. They have to have some kind of fuel in their system in order to get them going. Right? I am the total opposite. I can't have anything sitting in my stomach when I play or else it slows the system down. This video is basically, you know, for you to know your system, know your body. Because I live on this stuff. I mean, all I need is sugar and water, I guess, and caffeine to get going. But everybody's a little different. Actually, I went to a trainer and the trainer said, go to a doctor and ask them what blood type you are. And I said, why am I doing that? He's like, just do it. I'm A plus. I never got that great in school, but my blood type is A plus. I told him I'm A plus, and he said, well, that means you shouldn't be eating a lot of protein. You should eat, you're a carb person. Um, you perform better with carbohydrates in your system. It processes carbohydrates better and more efficiently. I mean, I learned something about myself that I really shouldn't be eating a lot of meat. I would. If I were you, 
you know, this is actually a very important part of sports or, hey, tennis. You want to be running out there with a, you know, like a sluggy feel or being a step slower because of what you ate. I'm not a dietitian, but I would definitely, um, you know, read some books or maybe talk to a dietitian to see what you should eat or shouldn't eat to perform at your max abilities. For example, um, all I need to do is eat a light dinner the night before. I hate salads, so I don't eat too much of that stuff. Um, when I wake up, you know, like today, like today, I would, if I was playing today, I would, you know, have my black coffee, like 10 to 12 ounces of it. Um, I would be good for a while. Uh, right before I play, I would probably hit, hit the Gatorade. I'd, I'd probably down this whole thing, um, depending on how I feel. I don't cramp up. That's part of the other thing is too, if you cramp up a lot, make sure you hydrate before you play because after you cramp up, it's over. You're not gonna be able to work your cramp out during your match. If you're going to somewhere hot, humid, um, make sure you hydrate days before. Don't do it when you get there hours before or even the night before. Your body has to be hydrated and used to that hydration before you play your match. You will lose a lot of water in that heat, whether you're standing around or playing. You will lose it at an accelerated rate when you're playing. Make sure you drink a lot of water. Uh, a lot of people I know actually buy Pediasure. You know, the stuff for your, your baby? Um, go to the infant aisle, go to the baby aisle. It comes in a box. Or little kids, it's for babies when they have, when they're dehydrated, when they have diarrhea. It's to replenish their um, electrolytes and fluids. It's, it's the baby version of Gatorade. Um, it costs a lot more than Gatorade, but it doesn't have as many like artificial ingredients. Well, maybe it does. I don't know. I don't read this stuff. I just drink it. I mean, it, it, it's better for you. I see a lot of people chugging that Pedialyte, you know, um, try that, but make sure you hydrate before, like a day, two days before, just make it a habit. Drink that eight glasses of water before you get going. Uh, flush out the system, but it'll make a world of difference. For those of you who cramp all the time, make sure you do that, especially in the heat. So after the my full, full bottle of Gatorade, I'm gonna hit the Red Bull. I would down this whole can and then drink like, you know, 12 to 16 ounces of water and then um, do my warm up and see how I feel. You know, depending on how I feel, I mean, I will always have a backup of this, maybe two of these on the court and another Red Bull. Do you remember when Serena was asking for coffee on a match? Like I saw her and she was like, she talked to the chairperson, she was like, can I get a cup of coffee? And we were all like, what? Like, can I get a cup of coffee? One cream, one sugar? And I, and a ball kid ran her out, out a cup of coffee in the middle of her match. I guess she needed a caffeine fix on the court. Serena needed that. We all sometimes need that extra kick even when we're playing. That's what like my Red Bull is for because, hey, we all run out of energy and this is quick, quick energy. Um, I just use this because it's what I'm used to and I'm used to the flavor. I definitely don't recommend getting that nitro or monster on the court unless that's what really fuels you. Um, but that's my regimen is this is it until I'm done. When I'm done, I usually don't feel like eating because you know, I'm just so tired. I probably eat an hour or two after, but no matter what time my match is or what time I play, whether it's morning, afternoon, or five at night, I'm, pro I'm not eating that day. That's just how I have to be. 
Uh, if I ate at eight in the morning, I would feel empty by noon. I mean, I just know that. And then I don't like that empty feeling. Know your body, okay? Do test, you know, trial and error, okay? Try eating, try not eating, but you guys know your body. Do what's right for it if you want to perform on the court uh, at maximum capacity. I hope that helped you. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.